Hello and welcome back to another game Plus tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to make a cool uh, shaded orb with some glossy effects on it. So open up GIMP, create a new file, 500 by 500 with a white background. Create a new transparent layer. And then take your circle select tool, create a circle 400 pixels by 400. You can use the tool options to get this exact. Uh, move it to match with the edges like that. Then get your foreground and background color, uh, foreground and background colors to a light blue and a dark blue. Then take your gradient tool and go foreground to background with a radial shape. Then stroke down like that so the lighter color is up near the right. And then select none. Now create a new layer. And actually, you didn't have to press select none, just alpha select into the side. Uh, or layer, and on the new layer, hit the circle select tool, click intersect with current layer, which is this last one right here. Make a circle encompassing, encompassing where all the uh, lighter blue is. Then get a white foreground, change the gradient from foreground to background from to foreground to transparent. Stroke a gradient like that. Lower the opacity to about 40%, and then press select none. And if you want, you can make another one, which I will. I'll actually make this one bigger. So, right click alpha selection on this orb layer. Make it a tad bit bigger. Uh, same with the gradient. Same gradient as the last one. And then just. You know, I did that on the wrong layer. Make sure you do it on the right layer. Or else it won't come out well. And then just change the opacity down. Select none. And then you can move the bigger layer under, the bigger gloss under the lighter gloss. Just lower that. There, you have a nice gloss effect right there. And now, on this uh, orb layer, duplicate it, and on the bottom layer, alpha to selection. Then take the fill tool, and then set your foreground color to a light gray. And then on the fill tool options, fill whole selection. So fill that, and then take the perspective tool and give it a nice shadow perspective. Uh, that should do it right about there. And click transform and then move it if necessary. Just under like that. So it has enough uh has a nice uh it's uh lined up right with the uh, orb. Then press select. Oh, okay. Then filters blur Gaussian blur. Uh, blur it about uh, 16 should be good. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to anchor this. Huh? When you perspective, you have to anchor it. So just anchor it to current layer. Then go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, about 17. Yeah, 17 should be good. And there you go. You have a nice uh, glossy orb right there with a cool shadow. So now if you want to add text to go along with it, just take your text tool, uh, just write whatever, I'm just going to write GIMP, with a, now it doesn't matter what color, but I'm just going to be using black right now. Make sure the text layer is at the top. So then you have your text right there, and take the path tool, draw a path where you want the text to go along with the orb. So just curve it a little like that. Then right click on the text layer and text along path. And you can you can uh, move that later. Then go on back to the tool options for the path selection from path. Then take your move tool, move selection. Then you can move that wherever you want. Ignore this uh, outline right there. It's the, uh, that'll go away once you save it. So. I want that right about there. Then create a new layer, transparent. Take uh, a black foreground color and the fill bucket tool and fill in that selection. Then you can delete the current, I mean the old text layer. And there you go. Select none and you have a nice orb with a cool shadow right there. So once you save this, the uh, outline for that will go away. That's just there from the path tool. So if you like this tutorial, please comment, rate, and subscribe and suggest another tutorial you would like to see me do.